Hi and welcome to the first of a series of videos in which we are going to look at several different things that we need to learn about fractions. But in this video, we are keeping it to the basics. I simply want to have a look at what a fraction is and what it's actually trying to tell us. So let's make a start. I guess most of us are familiar with seeing fractions around and about, maybe in shop windows, half price, one third off. And then, of course, there are other fairly simple fractions, three quarters, two thirds, one quarter. And in fact, you can pretty much have any numbers on the bottom of a fraction. So maybe you've got five twelfths or six elevenths. All I really want to do today is have a look at some of the basic fractions and actually try to make it clear what it is the fraction is telling us. So I'm going to start with possibly the simplest, and I reckon that would be one half. Now, many tutors in history have used the good old pizza to talk about fractions, and I'm going to do exactly the same. That's my pizza. Now, imagine I'm going to share that pizza with a friend, and we're going to be very fair about it. What I might just do is take my knife and cut my pizza in two. Now that's important what I just said there, cut the pizza in two. Because of course if my friend and I are going to have an equal amount, then we are going to have one half each. That is my half. Now, one two pieces that is exactly what the bottom number of a fraction is telling us it simply says oh look something has been cut into two now if my friend and i are eating a half each that means that out of these two pieces i am going to eat one of them this one and that is what the top of a fraction is telling us. So it literally means one out of two. Let's take another example. And if I can roughly draw another pizza, this time there are going to be three of us sharing. So when I take my knife, I'm going to cut it into three equal sized pieces. So there we go. One, two, three. This means that as a fraction, the number on the bottom is going to be three. So if I'm sharing this with two of my friends and I'm going to eat one piece of the pizza, let's say that one there, that means I am eating one out of three. Now, just imagine for a moment one of my friends uh, changes his mind and says, uh, no, I don't want any pizza. I could say, all right, I'm going to eat yours as well because I'm hungry. So out of the three pieces, I have now eaten two. So I've eaten two thirds. So that in summary is what a fraction is telling us. First of all, it's telling us that something has been cut up into parts because that is what a fraction is trying to describe. It is describing a part of something. In this case, it's been a pizza. It can be absolutely anything, uh, including amounts of money. So we look at a fraction, we say, how many pieces has it been cut into? And then we have a look at how many pieces am I actually dealing with? So two out of three would be two. There is just one other thing I'd like to examine right now, and that is, well, let's draw another pizza. I apologize for my circles, but there we go. OK, so tonight I'm eating pizza again, but this time I'm on my own. So I open my pizza box and my pizza 
has already been cut into six equal pieces. So if I'm going to make a fraction out of this, I know that the bottom of my fraction is going to be a six. Now, if nobody is with me, then the chances are I'm going to eat all of it. So in fact, I'm eating six pieces out of six. And as we can clearly see, there are the six pieces. If I eat all six, I have eaten one whole pizza. And this is an important point because we'll be using this fact in some of my other videos when we are working with fractions. And simply the rule is that if we have a fraction where the number at the top and the number at the bottom is the same, it makes a whole one. So that was just an introduction into the world of fractions. Uh, if you hit the subscribe button, you will find a whole range of fractions videos covering different skills. And the one I think follows this one most naturally is on the link on the screen here. Uh, please enjoy and thank you.